The next item is number 37, an application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Manhattan, docket number 14-9733, block 1718, lot 170. 194 Lennox Avenue in the Mount Morris Park Historic District. A row house designed by Schwartzman and Buckman and built in 1886 to 87 and modified with a commercial extension. Application is to replace storefront infill. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, oh, no, it's fine. Thank you. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Commissioners. John Graham with Landmark Staff. The application before you is for a building on the east side of Lennox Avenue, just south of 120th Street, shown here in the block plan. The applicants are proposing alterations to the existing commercial extension that was added in the early years of the 20th century. So it is this building with this two-story extension. The other houses in that row also have those two-story extensions. This was the designation photo, and they have provided us with two photographs, um, the tax photo and an early historic photo. These are the photographs showing the existing condition of the two-story storefront. Roll down security gates um, will be removed as well as the entrance. And um, they will also be removing the uh, barge coating on the masonry. So this is the drawing that shows the proposed work. This shows the awning over the storefront down, and this shows the awning over the storefront yeah. up. It is building here in the row. Yeah. So they are proposing to remove the existing storefront infill on the ground floor, and the new infill would be painted wood infill. It would have four doors, folding doors for the retail space. The entrance to the actual retail space would be here on the south side. This door here on the north side would be the entrance to the upper floors. Here is the window frame color. Here is the color for the awning. Here is the color for the stucco infill because they are proposing to recreate the parapet in stucco with a circular motif there. Again, they would be cleaning the brick here and here. Um, the and the uh, sign for the retail would be on the skirt of the awning and there would be a number for the street address for the upper floors. Um, they, and they are proposing new, four new tilt and turn windows in the commercial extension on the building on the second floor. They have also provided us with photographs of two um, places in the neighborhood. This one is at um, 2729 West 120th Street, just in the next block. And the infill was approved at the C of A in 2002. This is the adjacent building at 196, 198 Lennox, and this storefront was approved at staff level in 1995. They have a section through the storefront and the awning showing where the awning would be located and the flexible skirt of the awning, and it is a retractable awning. Um, and here are some details showing the existing brick underneath the coating and um, the existing location of light fixtures and the proposed light fixtures, which would be on either side on the brick piers. And the architect for the project is here today to talk about this. Okay, thank you. Just you state your name for the record. Oh, and, my name and, is Javier Carcamo. Okay, and add only what you think you need to add. Well, like I said, that was an okay. excellent introduction. I think uh, I'm just here to hang with you. Okay, so questions? Just bring it closer. With the rendering? That rendering, that, yeah, the rendering, we'll start with that. Just show what it is. Infield, right there. There's also a second rendering. Okay. So it's one, this is the third building coming in. It's the, right. point to it, there, yeah. okay. And it's, so it's just infill on the first floor, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't do anything with the windows on the second floor. The new tilt and turn windows on the second floor. These were the tilt and turn windows, and these were replacing the double hallway windows. So what was in there before, just the wood? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Tilt and turn, what was there? Uh, right now there are uh, two stationary windows, and 
double hung, but I guess in the time of, yeah, uh, two stage labor on the sides, two double hung. Um, yeah, it, I guess it's changed throughout time. There was it's the pit of it. it's it's the masonry pit of it. There were four windows at the time of the resignation, but mm -hmm. three windows at the time of the tax code up. Uh, I guess it shows, I can't really tell, but it's really important. Hi, maybe. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, further questions? Anyone? Uh, we have. Approval from Community Board 10. Is there any other testimony? I think we have everything. Go, please. Okay. Um, I think it's great that the applicant is, is uh, putting some money into this uh, storefront and going to make it better. Um, I think that, uh, in general, the application looks, looks good to me, looks appropriate. I think that the first floor um, work Um, I think uh, it's appropriate, uh, but because I can't really see the details and don't know what they are, I would think that they need to review that in advance. Yeah. Okay. I want to agree with Michael's comments. I, I mean, first of all, I'm so happy to see this row finding its way because it's been it's been waiting a long time to find a, a life so I'm really happy to see this but um, I do agree with Michael's comment about the tripartite window I just think that that would look better more it's actually would just fit more appropriately with the scale of the building um, and the and the history and it would be nice if the pediment was a little jazzier but um, I can approve it Fred, post. Um, I agree about the, um, the second floor windows in other words, a tripartite with the center, I guess, fixed with a large, a large panel with two side panels that pivot or whatever they do. Michael, I agree with that window. Okay, so we'll close the hearing. It's all good, and um, the motion in a second. And Roberta, please. Number thirty-seven.
Good. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's approved. That's slightly modified.